Sigrún sumar eitt fyrra og sýndum svo. Hey, hey, careful with that one. Hey, boy! See you guys! Ah, look at you, blood-soaked drinker. Oh, have you been warring without me? Oh, and you, salt-cured vikinger. I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. Just start. Randy, my dear wife, your husband returns. Bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagant, and they show me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation, and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, oh, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wolf Kist was captured by Kjotve's men. They must have cut the tale short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kjotve from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kurt with the Cruel will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. My son, welcome home. Uh, father. Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kjotve and his clan, and how we may end their terror. Once and for all, he has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. <laughs> Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. But Miklagard... We saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned, with riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. You are Basim. You have a good memory. And you have no meat. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. Called you his uh. right arm. A celebrated warrior. I am honored to meet you. Likewise, Basim. And how did you come to meet my brother? He sat down in Constantinople some months ago. To rest and resupply, he told me. But I knew otherwise. Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. I think he wished to raid the Hajj of Sophia. That sounds right. I will not bore you with the details of her meeting. But I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me. As if a forgotten memory of an old friendship had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. Enjoy your evening, Basim. Oh, 
I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You've snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. My first night in Thornburg in over two winters. It must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you in these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringwood. Now drink. <laughs> oh, you would put Thor to shame. You have been away too long, brother. You do not know the spiced kick of Tekla's mead. Mm. It does have a new taste. I like it. It's good to have you back, Sigurd. <laughs> I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basin, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a heart longing to return at once. <laughs> <laughs> Come. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing mm. their own form of justice. Here it is. My time with them. They shared many of their most important <coughs> secrets, for which I am grateful. And now, I give one of these secrets to you, a weapon for the finest warrior I know. Beautiful craftsmanship. What kind of smith makes a weapon like this? It is less a weapon than a tool. One we have used for centuries to fight injustice and evil. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist plate is a sacred Do tool. Don't make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifa. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. Is he gonna join them? I don't know. To conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this. And I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to a good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Hmm? Lead on. This clan of yours, it has a name? Indeed. But among the tenants of our creed, is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more, but not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, our blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Excellent. I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. Take that one down from the ledge. Challenge. Leap down upon that target from above. Exactly. Just 
like that. Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. Mentor, does everyone intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Then why offer him the blade? Surely we have more Python. Hush. A perfect You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy his gift in peace. Come. Eivor, let us walk through the docks and take in the night air. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. They have learning, too. They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world, all of which I will share with you when the time is right. Oh, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Eivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, Wolfkist. Keep it up. From here to Valhalla, I will always be on your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kjotve and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there, we build a kingdom for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest, and return here at first light. The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No! This is wrong! That cannot be right! Odin fought against his fate! It can be done! You will betray Sigurd. Shit! Kjotve's warriors! Welcome back, Wolf Kist. That's all I need for now. Fine. Come back anytime.
Aid me. See my eyes. Just the three of us. We should... have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. God save all. What happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Kjotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Nordfall, that whaling village under Kyotr's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kyotr learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you, but this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. Let's get out of here. We need to row our way out. Sing, my ravens. Sail! Sail. Catch the wind! Warriors! Star Bring it! Wait. When I was away, far from these frozen shores, wondering if I should ever More see home sail. again, I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kurtve's end. Afraid I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow. But here I am, home in time to join those I have missed, those I love, in this glorious fight. Today we seize Nuchtfall from Kurtve. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. 
Tomorrow it will burst from fear. He will beseech the gods for aid, for they will be deaf to his cries. And soon the Raven Clan will feast on his dead. You know these isles best, Bullkist. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, hey, Ward. I missed having you at my side. How I wished I could have taken you along on my travels. Stirpion did not trust fate with both our lives. You have no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable.
Bloody harvest. Who are you, Master? <sighs> Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harald. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The Canny Wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven Clan can take Kurtve's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The Wandering King will tip our fortunes. Why risk your men to help us, King? Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Kurtve's clan and your own has long simmered on my southern border. I was to see it put to rest. There will be no peace while Kurtve lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This blood feud runs deep, King Harald. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Kjotve broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kjotve and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Flor, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kjotve's head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjotve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Eivor! Give us a hand! 
Hardald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He's either a young fool, or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. Thank <laughs> you.